Hi, this is Silvia Colloca and thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my nonna's sausage stew and I will pair it with some homemade pasta. Well, this is a sausage stew, so it's imperative to get really good quality sausages and these are classic Italian pork and fennel sausages. And all I'm going to do is just cut them like this. This is an incredibly easy sauce to make because basically all you're doing is cooking the sausage in a little bit of garlic and a lot of beautiful tomato passata for a long time. And thyme is what will create the most beautiful, rich and luscious sauce. Okay, so the pan is quite hot now, so I can add some extra virgin olive oil, about two to three tablespoons. And to that, I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add quite a, quite a few cloves, but again, I'm not going to peel them or chop them. I'm just going to bash them and drop them in. And, and then I'm just going to drop in my pieces of sausage, which I'm cutting roughly. I can hear the oil is seasoning now, so it's ready for the sausage. And what I want is just to brown them, really, on both sides. Just like so. Stir them around. It, it already smells great. <laughs> it's only been, what, 20 seconds. Imagine, after three hours. I want to make sure that every piece of sausage is browned a little bit because the caramelization of the sausage will add to the flavor of the stew itself. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt, just like so. The sausage is ready for the wine and this is just a little bit of dry white wine. Woo oh, I love the smell and the fragrancy of the wine as it heats the fat that is rendered out from the sausage meat. And that's pretty much it because I can see that the alcohol has already evaporated and it's left behind just the sweet mellow tones of the grapes, which is exactly what we want. And at this point, we are ready for beautiful passata. That's about the equivalent of two tins. And you see how this is coming to a simmer already. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and this will bubble away quietly for about three hours and it will become slightly reduced and really rich and intense. So it's been about three hours. Oh my goodness. Smelling this catapults me back into my nonna's kitchen in Italy. And I love that food has the power to make you time travel like that. Um, the sauce has reduced beautifully. It's rich and intense and luscious. Now, this sauce is enough for four to six people. So I'm just gonna take some out because I won't need this much and I'll save the rest for a rainy day. I'll need some sausages and some of these beautiful luscious tomatoes in there. That'll be it because then I'll also use some of the pasta cooking water to create a lovely, lovely coating for my pasta. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And pop this onto the stove, just like so. And these are the peachy that I hand rolled. And if you want to know how to make it yourself, you just have to watch my videos. So make sure you subscribe so you can get all my videos. They are impossibly easy to make. It's just flour and water, no fancy equipment. And you literally just hand roll them. Yeah, they feel nice and soft and silky. And instead of reaching out for a strainer and doing all of that, I'm literally just going to lift them out and plonk them straight into here. And in this way, I'm dragging a little bit of the pasta cooking water into the pan. And that will combine with the sausage stew, creating 
the most luscious sauce. I'm just going to give it a little stir to make sure that every single strand of pasta is perfectly coated in this sugo. Sugo is Italian for sauce. This is absolutely perfect. All that's left to do, dust some Parmigiano Reggiano on top and just a little grounding of black pepper to bring all those flavours together. And there it is, my nonna's sausage stew with homemade peachy. Thank you for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe so you can get all my recipes.